Welcome to Core Program. Today, in this video, we discuss what is static class in CISA. In this video, we cover what is static class and what it differs from non static class, features and advantages of static class, static and non static constructor in CISA as well. So, let's understand what is static class. The class which is created by using the static modifier is called a static class. A static class can contain only static members in it. It is not possible to create an instance of a static class. The features are static class in C sub will contain only static members. In C sub, the static classes cannot be instantiated. Static classes are sealed, therefore, it can be inherited. The static classes in C sub will not contain instance constructor. So, for the difference between the static and non static class, generally the static class is same as non static class, but only difference is that static class cannot be instantiated. Suppose if we apply a static modifier to a class, then we should not use the new keyword to create a variable of the class type. Another difference is that the static class will contain only static members, but the non static class can contain both static and non static members. So, let's understand what is the advantages of the static class. If you declare any member as a non static member, you will get an error. When you try to create an instance to the static class, it again generate a compile time error because the static members can be accessed directly with its class name. The static keyword is used before the class keyword in a class definition to declare a static class. A static class member are accessed by the class name followed by the member name. Let's understand the static and non static constructor in C. -sub. If you create a constructor explicitly by the static modifier, then we call it a static constructor, and the rest of the others are the non static constructor. The most important point that you need to remember is that the static constructor is the first block of the code which gets executed under a class. No matter how many numbers of objects you created for the class. Of a static constructor is executed only once. On other hand, the non static constructor gets executed only when we created the object of that class, and that is true for each and every object of the class. It is not possible to create a static constructor with parameters. This is because the static constructor is the first block of the code which is going to execute under a class. And the static constructor is called implicitly even if the parameter is there, there is no chance of sending the parameter values. So let's take an example and see how the static class can be called and how we use the static and non-static constructor in there. So let's get started. File new project, visual C as template, console of dot and framework, then choose your location, then set your project name is static class then click ok the console application is created now we create the static class in it and uh, see how the static class will work so let's create a static class static class info suppose i have a class that name is info then i declared the static members public static string suppose is name like this we have declared two parameters one is location another is occupation let's declare a static method on it public static void get details and another method Print a text console dot right line get details method is execute right as you see that is we declare a static class the name is the static class name is info then we declare the three static member variables name location and occupation and also declare a static method on that now we call the static class here info dot name equal to core program like this we declare info dot location equal to new daily 
then info dot occupation equal to software engineer right then also we call that the static method info dot get details then we print all the result here console dot right line name is info dot name like this we call other two words location is info dot location then occupation is occupation then finally are the console dot red line start the program as you see the get details is executed first then followed by the name location and occupation suppose we want to declare the non-static member in the static class then public string suppose name one then you can see that is the compile time error is that cannot declare the instance of member in a static class that is the static class is it so the static class says that is the only static variable the static members are declared in that so this is all about the static class and how the static class be used in the main method so take an another example and see how the static constructor and the non-static constructor will work to do this uh, remove the class let's create from the scratch suppose i have a class that is the class name is program then i have created a static constructor for the static constructor there is a static member variable is much there static then the class name is program then i have created the static constructor and on that i have declared console dot right line static constructor is used constructor is called right then let's create a non-static constructor as well but creating the non-static constructor the circuit is ct over then double tap it will create the non-static constructor non-static constructor is called that is print that main method is called then create an object of that class program p1 equal to new of p1 like this we can get another class p2 equal to new of program then make console dot red line method so let's run the application and see you can see difference the static constructor is called once in a lifetime but non-static constructor is create a new object at every time a class is called that's it for the video on the next video we'll learn about static members and non-static members in csa stay tuned for more interesting videos